This is JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President at JSA, coming to you from ITW 2020, the virtual ITW. And joining me today is Mr. Travis Noble. Travis is the Senior Vice President of Sales at Unite Private Networks. Unite Private Networks provides high bandwidth, fiber-based communications networks and related services to schools, governments, carriers, data centers, hospitals, and enterprise business customers throughout the United States. Service offerings include dark fiber and lit, dark and lit fiber, private line, optical ethernet, internet access, data center services, and other customized services. Travis, welcome back to JSA TV. Thank you, Dean. Glad to be back. The last time we spoke, you were talking about uh, a new API. I want to I want to get an update on that. And you also announced an expansion into Dallas for Worth. So let's also talk about that quickly. Why don't you give our viewers an update? Sure. Um, ha happy to do that. So um, that API was really for our wireline organization, which is part of our carrier team. And so what we've done is we've we figured out, hey, we have lots and lots of buildings that are on net or near net, and we might as well take advantage of that because many of our um, vendor partners can take advantage of that proximity to their customers that they may not have a fiber connection to. Um, when, we, when we kicked this off, we had probably you know, less than a half dozen of vendor partners. So now we've got over 20 vendor partners who are buying from us. And we have now, um, we've moved up to, I think it's just over 120,000 uh, buildings that are on net or near net in our core markets. So that's, that's where we are with Wireline today. Um, we expect that to be growing over the course of the next several years. Um, at some point, we would like to be able to partner with anybody who wants to buy from us in our core markets. Um, with regard to the Dallas Metro, you know, da the Dallas Metro expansion is really a lot like what we do in all of our core markets, which is we are always looking to um, expand our, our core fiber network um, within typically the metro areas, but wherever there are businesses. Mm -hmm. And so we've done that in Dallas. We continue to do, to do that in Dallas, as well as all of our, our markets to, to reach those current customers, um, get to their new locations, and then obviously add new logos. Excellent, Travis. So it sounds like things are going very well for you. Um, with that in mind, why don't you give our viewers a taste of what they might expect from UPN, say, over the next uh, six to 12 months? Sure. So um, I guess the first thing that, that's new for us is uh, we have what we call Fiber Voice, which is a grouping of voice products, which includes PRI, um, SIP trunks, and hosted services, uh, along with your, your basic POTS lines. You know, originally when we when we went into the Albuquerque market, um, part of our off had to be uh, the voice because we were getting our network from from the um, convergence of of Level Three and CenturyLink. Um, and then one of our, our uh, most mature markets out of Lincoln, Nebraska, we decided to, to kick it off there as well. So th those two markets have been selling SIP trunks and PRIs for the last year. And it's, it, it was a lot more successful than we had anticipated. And we had a lot of those customers who wanted voice services across all of our markets. And so recently we kicked off all of our voice services across all of our markets. I think we just kicked off um, the Texas area this this the beginning of June. Mm -hmm. So that's the first piece of new news. And then San Antonio, uh, we we uh, we want a large K twelve um, um, school district in the San Antonio area um, that was a hundred plus sites as well as uh, sixty plus sites with a, a, a national, national uh, wireless provider. And that allowed us to build 210 plus miles of network in the San Antonio market that we will be kicking off within the next 30 to 60 days. And obviously that will allow us to, to sell all of our products across um, that market. 
And then on top of that, uh, a market that we've had for a couple of years in Lubbock, we added another 25 uh, network miles for the Lubbock market. That gets us a little over 100 network miles uh, in the Lubbock um, metro area. In, in San Antonio, we'll go past those 100 plus school sites. Um, we'll also be able to get through the, the central business district and they have several large medical centers that our network will, will uh, transgress as well. Well, I, I suppose a uh, congratulations is in order for you then, Travis. That's, uh, that's strong work. Um, thank you for that update. Um, but let's talk about why. Um, why why you think some of these things are happening? What are some of the trends perhaps that you're seeing in the telecom industry? Care to share a little bit about that? So I, I think in the fiber sector, um, it's gonna continue to grow. Um, infrastructure is needed as, as much now as, as ever before. So um, one of the things that's driving a lot of that is connectivity to the cloud and um, Lately, we're seeing a lot more critical applications that are being driven to the to the cloud. And in those cases, you know, companies like Unite Private Networks who sell fiber based services, um, our products are, are um, asked for more than ever before um, because they meet those those critical business uh, needs. Um, what we're finding in the areas that we're going into, the areas that we're in today and the, and the ones that we're expanding to, you know, those are the areas where there seems to be less competition than uh, in the past. Uh, as these larger telecom companies have continued to grow, they do that by gobbling up smaller companies or even other large entities. And, and when that happens, there is less um, competition and with less competition, that breeds um, poorer or, or less um, customer um, focus. And so what we find is we, we fill that niche for someone who wants good private um, fiber network services with a company that, is, that can also bring them really exceptional customer experience. Very good. Uh, Travis, thank you very much for being with us. Where can our viewers go to learn more about UPN? Sure. Um, the best place to go is UnitePrivateNetworks.com. Excellent. Travis, thanks again for being with us. We really appreciate it. And let's do this again next year and get an update, okay? Thanks, Dean. Appreciate it. You got it. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. We'll see you soon.